Hello, and welcome back to building the Musty City, and this will be episode 6 of the series. No, wait, episode 5. There was a different series where it was episode 6. My apologies, it's episode 5. Which is kind of a landmark because the last series kind of series of ours, well, ended at episode 4 when the map decided to break. And this nearly ended up in the same way when Screen Cities came out. Lucky enough for us, uh, it didn't happen. And the, uh, everything came out pitchy. So this one, it's a lot of a shorter episode than 20 minutes long. Well, 23. That's not a problem on my end, but really just, it's only short because I, really because I completely sped up the time of the time lapse and I'd like to know what you think of the speed of the time lapse and if it's too fast or too slow. So, if you think it's too fast then I will slow it back down. If you think it's still a bit slow then I'll speed it up. So anyway, what we're actually doing is Basically, a lot of expanding work, and starting to get the road systems in the planning. Now, I this is a lot of jumping between moments, you could say. So, I did the bridge at one point off camera, and I didn't, and I show that in the type in the cinematic, but it it never actually happened on camera. I actually did it shortly after, and this is, took so long again because Green City's update. And it neatly went all pear shaped. When I actually did the update, the um, like I didn't actually have a choice. It just updated. I couldn't even get it on the save game. It it would just instant crash, which was kind of annoying. Anyway, but here you saw us just expanding that highway off the large roundabout. And here I am actually working on making a proper uh, rail system off the. Uh, The tracks, again, it doesn't actually end properly, it kind of just starts properly. Now, the problem I was having with all this was I couldn't get it to work because you see, I'm using a single two lane track and then I'm using two one lane tracks. The issue I was having with them was really the two lanes were like this two lane track and we slim the track before expanding it out and it just didn't look right so yeah I decided against it and here I'm just trying to fix everything and it can excruciatingly annoy to get anything to work so I think I end up removing a lot of that and just keeping it basic up to a rail bridge now I also had another rail now and um, you'll see a lot of it on camera but I don't actually do anything major with it the rail actually will be going into the what do you call it the the uh, cargo dock that also somewhat appears on this time lapse so yeah that second rail is actually for the cargo docks, it's a cargo line. And that cargo line will actually be going through the town, which I'll eventually come up to. Now, I'm not re really focusing this episode on the airport, per se. Um, I probably m might do a couple more episodes on the airport. And um, there's still quite a few things left to do. There is actually the medium and long-term car parks. And I'm thinking I might try and get a couple of the details done on the airport on camera. Now, the front of the foyer of the airport did change during this entire thing. I've been messing around with it, trying to get a final design. I did get something I'm happy with. It's not finished though, so keep that in mind. At the moment, nothing really is finished. So he here I'm actually making the rail system. Here I just make that into a bridge. Um, off camera, I make that. I do neaten up that bridge, but yeah. Now, 
there is a road going the other way off that roundabout. I do add a tunnel again, it's another one of those off camera things. And really, I should, like I said, I'll post the uh, I post screenshots on Discord to the content creators of City Skylines. I like to get, like I said, I'll do like the second opinions and all that. But yeah, well, you can get quite a bit of a positive feedback on that. Yeah, I actually start the process of trying to figure out the uh, the dock area and um, starting to plan out the docks, trying to really get the docks done. Well, not really done, just started. Um, I do end up reworking the docks a lot of times. In the, just there on camera, you see, just go to the airport and delete a couple of aircraft. Now, what actually keeps on happening, and I keep on explaining this, is Planes will, because of how this airport is shaped, it's like a U shape. Airplanes keep on getting locked, and it's kind of annoying. There, I just uh, rework the ships, and following this ship, and it's kind of hilarious. It just beaches itself on the land because I deleted the ship lane it was in. I thought that was kind of hilarious. Um, at the moment, though, uh, the ship, the docks are kind of broken, and I keep on trying to figure out why they keep on breaking. So. Yeah, I'm not kind of happy with the docks. I'm trying to fix them, but yeah, at the moment they're broken. The there, it's just ships will not spawn. That just no cargo goes to the dock. And I do believe it's because it's too low in the water. Now here I'm actually starting the process of um doing some foliage around the air uh, airport um, that roundabout just um, in front of the airport roundabouts basically it's the entrance of the airport and the seaport and I thought let's try to get some foliage and try and make it look nice now I spent a lot of my try time just cycling through trees trying to figure out which tree I wanted to use and all that and it takes a while. And just going through a lot of the trees, just trying to get everything finished. And I only use a couple of trees and I use a lot of their uh, bush and stuff. Just try and make it all look nice. And I also just how I I'm actually doing the foliage around the airport is I'm actually following it, following the pattern somewhat of how Newcastle's actually looks because in real life the uh, how the trees work in Newcastle is it, it's patched like there's like a patch of, of dense trees and then there'll be no trees and just grass obviously I do put some odd bits of bush and then small trees scattered around the back of the foliage which you'll see in a minute now obviously I don't finish all the foliage there's a lot more I need to do especially on the other side and leading off to the bridge I don't know if I finished all that so but in this bit I'm just working on trying to get the foliage patch in next to the roundabouts and the road that leads off to the Aviation Academy done. Now, the road that I am dedicating for the Aviation Academy originally doesn't go there. It actually takes a really long berthed route to the Aviation Academy. And it seems odd for me to make the Aviation Academy go to on this road, but that road would actually have no purpose if uh, it doesn't go to the aviation again because everything that that road actually has on it will not exist on this map. It may seem silly, but the reason they will not exist is not because I'm lazy, it's because there'll be no room. Because it, one of them that exists nearby is a hotel, and as you can see here, I'm doing actually the back of the main hotel relating to the airport. Now, I could add the other hotels, but there will be absolutely no point. Now here I'm just um busy making a like 
a small um, area for picnics and stuff. Um, I stopped like placing all these tiles about the back of the airport and yeah it doesn't really go well. I ended up removing most of them apart from six and I used the six as the centerpiece. You can see because of the shapes and that it just it just looked horrible. And you see I accidentally removed two, I didn't want to remove. I centralize the trees in between the two parts and I just make the uh, benches go just work and I put a fountain in there in the middle. And it kinda worked. I don't actually do the two sides in the of that area yet. I don't have much of an idea but it's something on my to do list. Now here you can see I've already made the bridge. Like I've already made the tunnel, but I don't actually do the decoration for the tunnel at this point. Rather I don't actually focus on making the actual tunnel. Right now I'm actually um making doing more of the foliage around the edges of the highway and that roundabout. Now you can on this map when I can and you'll see a lot of roundabouts. Not many people might like them, but you will see a lot of roundabouts. Again, this is because of the area I'm basing it around and my ideas and being rational. It may seem odd to have so many roundabouts, but trust me, in Britain and in quite a few other countries, roundabouts are quite common, if not just maybe a bit too common. So, a lot of the junctions I will be doing will be roundabout junctions and stuff like that. I think the next junction is kind of a T-bone junction, but it's an unusual design, T-bone. No, it's a dog bone, I think. I probably butchered what that actually means. So I apologize to all the road fanatics out there, I've just butchered that, it's a, a double roundabout junction, it is one of the silliest junctions in this entire net road network and that would actually be where the town's going to be now I don't know if, the, if that'll be in the next episode because I think I want to focus on getting the airport and the harbour finished, fleshed out, finished up before I move on to anything major but even then after all that I want to get the power supply and water systems finalised uh, I power supply wise I want to use a nuclear power plant and I do have an idea for its location and from there it will also in oddly in include all the water pumping systems because the power plant will only take half the island if that so I don't see the need of having this massive uh, complex with only one half of it being used and the other half being blank. So the water uh, treatment facility would be there. I might add a couple of advanced uh, fernite to that area to complete the to complete the area. Like advanced fernite, I mean advanced incinerators. Fernite just being a crew of the furnace. I mean, there's also furnaces, but whatever works for you, I guess. And here I'm just filling out the foliage in the middle of this roundabout. Now, compared to the other roundabouts, uh, this one actually had quite a considerable amount of trees in the center, where the other ones it's just basic plant life. Now, if I look at the airport in certain directions, I get very low FPS, so I had to be careful, but I like the detail, so I'll live with it. I mean, one thing I would definitely want to do is try to finish off all the uh, airplane stands around the uh, lot. And I might record it, or I might live stream it, it'll be one or the other. Anyway, we're just, um building out more of the foliage. Again, I'm doing a lot of uh, trees under 
like a lot of bushes and that underneath all the large pine like trees now pine isn't common to where this airport is but for the map because it because of the map I'm using it is the most common tree so I'm using the I'm only using it because it is the most common tree to the map and and I think pine is a quite nice tr tree myself. I do really like pine. So, we'll work. everything that will work in my favour. Here I'm just doing some more patches of foliage. Now, towards the train tracks, I actually add some more, more large trees. In, but not in a dense fashion. You've seen me do it before. It's mainly just a couple of large ones to show that and there is some large foliage there, but nothing to the scale of what you've seen. Again, just I'm just gonna I'll just place a lot of a uh, small foliage about, just trying to make things look a bit more detailed than they actually are at the moment. Now I still actually have to do the inside the airport area, but that's on my to-do list. Here I'm just cleaning up around the front of the docks, trying to just get the basic ideas sorted out. And here I just ideas to try to figure out what I want to do with this dock area, but I ended up not doing it, and instead I actually just start expanding the docks, and so I kind of do it. Now I'm just using parks or props to used by uh, that Ronox made for the um, seaports or docks so I use that here yeah, I just try to use the road to cover up that blank and I just couldn't so in the end I think I use another prop by Ronox to cover that up and um, you can see that I use the dock platforms and I was I just didn't like it So in the end, I actually chose to use a plotable pavement to fix that issue. As you also see, a lot of the time I'm actually having to... ...fix the, uh, the road so the road doesn't clip through the docks there. Not much I can do about that, it just happens. Now, here I'm just placing again more of the dogs, trying to get it all finished up. It's an interesting build, trying to build a dock, and especially when you've not really ever built a dock before. And I only do a part of the dock, and my what I need to do after this is actually build the rest of the dock. Funny enough. And what, one thing I want to do though is like try and come up with an idea for the uh, dock, and, like where all the cargo containers and all that will be. And um, try and finalize that. Right now, all I'm doing is placing the breakwaters off the back end of the uh, the docks of this spire arm um, structure. I actually don't know the name of it. And the actual idea of it's an uh, unusual design. I use the brake was I have. It, it's not in relation to any design, but the actual arm structure going off the river comes off it. Designed from time off. So, well, that would be interesting for you all to know. Here, I just came under the sea trying to fix it all up, and here, I just trying to finish up all the uh, the breakwaters and here I changed the design of the breakwaters I changed it to this one because it has like a small here like area off the bottom of it and with that I actually wanted to utilize it in making the and pure of the docks. Now I go through a 
lot of choices for the end arm and this is the one I choose. Now I spend a lot of the time trying to modify the line, try to get everything to look decent. Etc. Now it looks sort of bad there, that's just because how the water is. And it's nothing I can do until I actually reactivate the simulation. Here I'm just placing some ramps off the end of the docks. I choose to use these ramps because, yeah, but anyway, this is the end of the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button if you're new, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And leave a comment, I like to read them as long as they're relevant, and yeah. Some cinema comes up, some nice music, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.